Lifetime movie. Tell us about that. Tell us a welcome yes. home Christmas. Well, uh, so it's called a welcome home Christmas, um, and it is uh, it is Lifetime's first military themed uh, Christmas movie. So that was um, that was fun to be a part of, um, and and it's a it's a great story. It's uh, it's one of those. Um, Listen, these these films, uh, they make a lot of them, right? I think Lifetime uh, is doing 30 of them this year, mm -hmm. and it's great. Like I love, I love the holidays. We make the biggest, biggest deal in our house uh, uh, over Christmas, and so it's fun. You know, our movie aired. Uh, I think it first aired the beginning of November. I think it was the seventh, and it was it was fun. It just felt like Christmas, you know, and uh, and. Um, uh, they're very, you know, a lot of these movies, they, they have a formula, right? And, and people love them. And what drew me to this script was it was, um, it, it felt very grounded more so than a lot of the other ones. And I, and I love that. Oh. It, uh, I, I play Michael, a, um, a return vet, did multiple tours in the Middle East and, and is having a, a hard time acclimating to civilian life. Um, not wanting, being a bit macho, not wanting help, not thinking he needs help. Uh, Chloe, um, our, our lead played by Jana Kramer. Um, her job is she's this late liaison who helps that transition for soldiers, uh, coming home. And uh, she gets assigned my case and comes and visits me and says, Hey, listen, you're not showing up for this. You're not doing that. And I'm like, Hey, look, I'm fine. She's like, all right, I'm here to help. And uh, one thing leads to another. I realize I need help. And, and it's a story of two people who, through uh, similar background, um, discover they sort of need each other. And, and they have a mission that they accomplish without giving too much away. And, and it's this really beautiful story of two people coming together for a great cause and, mm -hmm. and finding out that there's uh, chemistry and, and sparks and, and feelings there. And um, you'll just have to watch the movie to see what happens. Yes. And tell us, how did you get the role then? Tell us about that. How did that whole process work for you? Uh, it was wonderful. I, I, uh, I was actually setting up for, so, you know, we're five months into the pandemic. And um, uh, the first two months uh, was one of the most, it was amazing. I didn't realize how badly I needed a break until I was forced into a break. And uh, during the middle of month three, I was getting antsy and I was mm. ready to work. Mm -hmm. And month four, month five, and you're like, gosh, man, I want to work. I need to work. And my daughter, uh, was July, it was July, her birthday is July 16th. So I think it was like July 14th. I was setting up for her birthday party uh -huh. and I was hanging some streamers. And uh, I get a call from my agent and um and uh, he's like, hey, how you doing, buddy? And I'm like, I'm good. Just, you know, setting up for my daughter's birthday party. He's like, all right. He's like, well, um, I got some good news for you. I'm like, yeah, what's that? He's like, uh, you got offered a movie. Huh? I go, wait, what? What do you mean? Nobody's working right now. What? I got, wait, what? <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's a lead of a, 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 life, a Lifetime Christmas movie. And I'm like, wait, for real? That's amazing. Yes, yes. He's like, well, well don't you want to know what it's about? I go, no. <laughs> I'll take it. Tell me about it. Quick. Yeah. So he told me the, the plot, sent me the script. Uh, I read it, and um, I loved it immediately. I mean, within, within the first five pages, six pages, I was like, oh, okay. This, this, like I said, it just felt really grounded and real. Mm -hmm. And those are the characters that speak to me the most. Um, uh, and, uh, and I really, really liked it. And it's, I, I like, I actually teared up while I was reading the script. There's a lot of heart to this film and, uh, um, our, the writers did a really good job and, uh, and it spoke to me. And, and so, yeah, three weeks later I was up in Nashville shooting a movie. It was amazing. That is amazing. And then, um, tell us, yeah, that it's all military themes. I think that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the first Christmas movie that Lifetime, um, has made about, about veterans about the military wow uh i was uh, in the branch the army and um and yeah it's the first their kind so it's great it, it spoke to a whole new a whole new audience mm -hmm. and um and uh it's awesome it, it was great to be a it was great to be a part of it it really really was and it was i have a neighbor um 
who uh, did three tours in Afghanistan, and um, and uh, so it was it was nice. Like he let he was kind enough to let me sit down with him for about an hour. Oh wow! And he's like he's like I don't talk about this much, but I love you. I'm an open book. <laughs> ask me anything you want. So I got to, you know, I just wanted to understand. You know, it's a I didn't want to mess this up and though mm-hmm. it's lifetime and we're not diving deep into that part of it, but right. it is a huge part of it that colored my character and it's something I respect tremendously. So I, I wanted to make sure, uh, I served it well. Mm-hmm. And, and so I, I asked him things that maybe didn't, that didn't really even pertain to the movie, but just so I can get behind the mindset of, you know, what a soldier goes through and, and in particular, the process and the things that they go through coming home and, and having to adjust to civilian life. And, and he was very forthcoming with information. It gave me a whole found a whole new respect for what our you know, what our soldiers male and female go through. I mean, I tip my hat Mm -hmm. to those men and women. Um, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, and, and so it was, so it was educational for me and it really helped set the tone to, uh, who Michael was, my character. And, and cause I, there needed to be an arc. So I needed to know where, where, where to sort of start mm-hmm. from and talking right. to him. It mm-hmm. really helped set that tone to give me a place to, to go to by the end of the film. That's amazing. And then working with the cast and then Jaina Kramer, what was that like for you, the whole experience? Amazing. It was it was really one of my favorite movies I've been a part of. Jan is awesome. <clears throat> we uh, we uh, actually started. We, we first communicated over text um, once we both found out we mm. you know were were hired, and it was just instant chemistry. We were like instant buddies. That's amazing. And, uh, yeah, it was great. It was like easy peasy. She and seems like she's nice in person. She seems like she's a nice person. Super nice. Yeah, Super she is. Nice. Really easy to just talk to and get along with. Uh, we start working and it's like we've been working together for years. It was, it was really nice. And, and Brian, our director was, he's like one of my brothers. I love him dearly. He was, he's so awesome, so friendly, so good at his job. And this was a difficult movie to get through because of COVID. And we were, you know, one of the first productions up yeah. and, and going. So there was a, uh, you know, there was a tremendous amount of responsibility for us to get it right because people were watching. Yeah. And we did, we had a couple stops because of COVID. Um, and, and Brian, uh, and Ken Carpenter, our, our producer, um, they navigated it perfectly. And I know it was, uh, it wasn't without a lot of stress on their part. Um, but they did a really good job and, and, and everything starts at the top and it just, it was all things considered with three stops. Uh, it, it was an incredibly wonderful experience. It was an incredibly wonderful experience. I wonder if you can actually say that. <laughs> it was an incredible experience. It was also very wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the whole process like? Like we said, like just masks, everybody was wearing masks and then like the, the tests to go through it and all that fun so we stuff. Got, oh my God. Yeah, it's a lot. So there's, <sighs> there's zones and depending on, you know, what your role is on the movie depends mm-hmm. on the zone. So zo- zone A our people on the front lines, like your actors, your mm-hmm, directors, mm-hmm, your DPs, mm-hmm. anybody who has to be on set working to make sure the movie gets made, right. you're zone A. And, right. and as a result, you get, we got, I think it's tested daily. We were doing, because like I said, we were one of the first ones. We were getting tested every other day. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. So, which my nostrils <laughs> still Um uh, and you're wearing masks and shields and, and no, us okay. as actors in between takes, um, you know, you're masking up, uh, you're trying to socially distance as much as possible. You're limiting, you're limiting the amount of people on set. Um, it's hard. It's, 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 it's certainly, it's a challenge for production companies because all these measures you have to take, uh, it, it equals time and time equals money, right? Yeah. And so yeah. you're trying to navigate already uh you know budgets seem to get smaller and smaller and smaller now you're adding all this extra expense to it um so it's it's going to be challenging moving forward um uh but we did it and and 
you know, uh, I'm sure it will change the way we yeah. do things from here on out yeah. to, some, to some degree. Um, it's, it's funny, like one of the joys of being an actor is it's a very communal uh, experience and, and it's just a bunch of people. One of the things I love about what I do is it takes so many people to put something together mm-hmm. and, and shooting that movie. And during COVID there's this disconnect, right? Because you have to limit the amount of people you're yeah, with yeah. and you're eating your lunch in your trailer by yourself. And people are kind of like, eh, and, yeah, you like know, uh... and, and so it takes out one of the, special parts of of uh of doing what we do which is the relationships and the people you meet and the relationships you form um so uh, my hope is that before too long that we can find a vaccine and Mm -hmm. and move past all of this or whatever that means Mm -hmm. and and so that we can all get back to you know connecting like i agree this right i know people are people are terrified of each other you're terrified It's, it's 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 sad. It makes me sad. Like, it is human sad. Human connection is so important. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> That's, That's all we can do for now. That's all we can do like, for now. Humans are resilient. We yes. will get through That's this. That's right. That's we right. We will. We will get through this. All, and I believe um, a lot of people have positive we're... positive energy. I believe that. Yep. So. Yep. yep. We all just have to do our part, right? Like, That's right. Until we figure this thing out. And, uh, and we'll get through it.